greetings everyone we are going to start with uh, module 3 under this topic uh, we are now going to discuss about the constitutional provisions and policies of language in india position of languages in india with report to articles 343 to 351 and 350a of the indian constitution So uh, let us start. As you can see, so first uh, we will uh, go through the introduction and then we will be uh, doing with the article. In this video, we will be uh, discussing about three articles and uh, the rest will be continued. So the constitution was adopted in 1950 and stipulated that English and Hindi would be used for the union's official business for a period of 15 years. After that time, Hindi was supposed to become the sole official language of the union. It proved impossible to replace English with Hindi. Because of a strong opposition from the southern states where Dravidian languages were spoken, they felt that the federal government was trying to impose Hindi across the country including the south and preferred to continue using english which they found more acceptable because unlike hindi it was not associated with any particular ethnic group later the official languages act legally established hindi and english as the languages used in congress while leaving states and territories free to choose their own official languages the official languages act was adopted in hindi and English language both. So uh, let us start uh, with article 343. As you can see the title of the article is official language of the union. So the official language of the union shall be Hindi, Devanagari script. The form of numerals to be used for the official purposes of the union shall be the international form of Indian numerals. So Hindi was adopted with its Devanagari script but the forms of numeral were international not hindi numerals were adopted not with standing anything in clause 1 for a period of 15 years from the commencement of the constitution the english language shall continue to be used for all the official purposes of the union for which it was being used immediately before such commencement as you know english language was the uh, language of the rulers as we were under the british control British government was there and uh, since it was they were the native speakers of English and that's why it was considered as the queen of languages at that time and when we got independence because English was uh, serving as an official language and that's why the condi condition uh, remained the same but the condition was only for the 15 years that English shall uh, continue to serve as official language only for further 15 years from the date of commencement of the constitution and then after hindi was supposed to replace english but due to the opposition of, um, uh, from the southern states because uh, they uh, uh, they said that it is uh, uh, this language hindi language is associated to a particular ethnic group and that's why they were not um, uh, agreed to adopt hindi as their official language and that's why uh, English continued even uh, uh, present time also it is uh, our official language it is continue it has continued to serve as official language like Hindi and uh, the condition was uh, you can see provided that the president may during the said period by order authorize the use of the Hindi language in addition to the English language and of the Devanagari form of numerals in addition to the international form of Indian numerals for any of the official purposes of the union. And then president, notwithstanding anything in this article, parliament may by law provide for the use after the said period of 15 years of A, the English language or B, the Devanagari form of numerals for such purposes as may be spe specified in the law then uh, let us uh, start with article 344 so it is regarding the appointment of the commission and committees of parliament on official language as hindi was adopted uh, as our official language so uh, 
uh, for the promotion of Hindi language. Some commissions and committees were supposed to be appointed and then in this article how what will be the procedure for the appointment of these commissions and committees and what will be the structure of these commissions and committees along with their roles and responsibilities means the members of uh, the committees and commissions uh, uh, what uh, should be their role and how they have to perform their duties all these things are given in this article so you can see the president shall at the expiration of five years from the commencement of this constitution and thereafter at the expiration of 10 years from such commencement by order constitute a commission which shall consist of, uh, of a chairman and such other members representing the different languages specified in the English schedule as the president may appoint and the order shall define the procedure to be followed by the commission. It shall be the duty of the commission to make recommendations to the president as to the progressive use of the Hindi language for the official purposes of the union and restrictions on the use of the English language for all or any of the official purposes of the union. And then third, the language to be used for all or any of the purposes mentioned in Article 348. Later on, we will be discussing about Article 348 also. So, the form of numerals to be used for any one or more specified purposes of the union and any other matter referred to the commission by the president as regards the official language of the union and the language for communication between the union and a state or between one state and another and their use. And then in making their recommendations under clause 2, the commission shall have due regard to the industrial, cultural and scientific advancement of India and the just claims and the interests of persons belonging to the non-Hindi speaking areas in regard to the public services. There shall be constituted a committee consisting of 30 members of whom 20 shall be members of the House of the People and 10 shall be members of the Council of State. So 10 members from uh, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha from both the houses uh, and then after 10 members from the Council of the State. So uh, there shall be in total 30 members to be elected not nominated so to be elected respectively by the members of the house of the people and the members of the council of states in accordance with the system of proportional representation by means of the single transferable vote and it shall be the duty of the committee to examine the recommendations of the commission constituted under clause 1 and to report to the president their opinion thereof then, notwithstanding anything in Article 343, the President may, after consideration of the report, refer to in Clause 5, issue directions in accordance with the whole or any part of that report. Now, coming to Article 345, it is regarding the official language or languages of a state. So, in Article 343, it is uh, um, given like uh, the official language of the union, means the center, and then official language of the uh, stay that is given in article 345 so you can see subject to the provisions of article 346 and 347 the legislature of a state may by law adopt any one or more of the languages in use in the state or hindi as the language or languages to be used for all or any of the official purposes of that state provided that there is a condition until the legislature of the state otherwise provides by law, the English language shall continue to be used for those official purposes within the state for which it was being used immediately before the commencement of this constitution. So here the states were given the freedom to adopt their official language at their own any language that is spoken in that state or Hindi also and uh, if the legislature uh, allows the state can otherwise uh, english will be the uh, official language of that state uh, it it shall uh, continue to be used as it was used before the commencement of the constitution so this is all about article 345 so um, thank you so much so here we will stop and then uh, in next video we will be continuing uh, with article 346, 47 
and so on. So thank you so much.